Thank you very much, John Corner, for giving the opportunity. And I too want to add my voice to the call that, we, that uh, it should be beyond reasonable doubt rather than the balance of probabilities. I mean, in all fair play, this is a new departure. Uh, any, con any criminal that's brought before uh, any court is deemed, he has the presumption of innocence until found guilty. But this, this is totally and absolutely wrong, what he is suggesting here and this word. And look, it, it might seem small to be arguing about this, but it's so important to people uh, whose heads are down at the present time. Uh, and you're not solely affecting fishermen and all those grand people that came up outside the, the, the convention centre last year, they came up to Liffey and they gave a, a, a very clear, precise, precise uh, uh, presentation as, and, and no one repeated what the other uh, had said. Uh, it was such a, a wonderful presentation and it was a, a joy to listen to and there were grand people trying to make a living and we see the ma look at what that exercise in itself cost and that, that they wouldn't do that minister only their backs are to the wall and when they tell us that 16 uh, that they're only allowed to fish 16, 16% of our own waters and and all, all, all government, and, and I won't personalize it, all our government seems to be doing is offering them some compensation to get out. God Almighty, traditions and, and, and people were brought up to, you know, fishing those places. And if we went back to the 1600s, to the, the English taught us in the first place how to fish. And now, our, our own government is telling them more or less not to fish. And, uh, you know, penalty points and weighing on the pier. I, I mean, if it was fair, if, if, if the foreign fishermen had to weigh on the pier, but why is it just the poor Irish fishermen? And when we're hurting the fishermen, we're also hurting the communities because it, it's all trinicale. If, if they make a few pounds, they spend it in the butcher shop, they spend it in the grocery shop, they spend it in the clothes shop or whatever. And we, rather than penalising them and victimising them, we should be uh, joined together here to see how we could help, help them rather than discussing this uh, and, and that, that on the balance of probability. For God's sake, Minister, we'll, we'll look at what you're doing. And, 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 and just accept our amendment and, and, and at least uh, uh, agree to put, insert the words beyond a reasonable doubt, doubt and even four words, three, three words, Minister. I'm appealing to, to see common sense. And we, see, we, see, we, we all see what uh, uh, the farmer, uh, last come call, he got out of his seat there and he went up in the back and he put forward uh, the, the enrollment of the, of the, of, of the, that statutory instrument. And, and, and here we have uh, the T-shirt re reiterated again and uh, obliterating, and, uh, obliterating what, what Pat the Cope had done. I mean, he all voted for that and we did and, and all of us here voted for Pat the Cope's. Uh, uh, because he, he being from Donegal as well, he, he know that the trouble, the trouble that the fishermen in, uh, are in. And, and we know as well in Carsabine and Dingle and all along, along, along the, 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 the bay, even the smaller fishermen going down Khmer Bay and Castellon Bay. We're, we're close to all those people and we know that they're hurting. And, and, and look, they're looking in here at us tonight, ask you uh, and your government to, to to, to, to just change four words. I'm appealing to Minister. 